young at heart, if not in body. We have an obligation to help our youth succeed. Some of you know here in South Africa, my foundation has been convening over the last few days 200 young people from across this continent who are doing the hard work of making change in their communities, who reflect Madiba's values, who are poised to lead the way. People like uh, Abbas Mpindi, a journalist from Uganda who founded the Media Challenge Initiative to help other young people get the training they need to tell the stories that the world needs to know. People like Karen Wakoli, who's an entrepreneur from Kenya and founded the Emerging Leaders Foundation to get young people involved in the work of fighting poverty and promoting human dignity. People like Enek Nulanga, who directs the African Children's Mission, which helps children in Uganda and Kenya get the education that they need. And then in his spare time, Enek advocates for the rights of children and founded an organization called Lead Minds Africa, which does exactly what it says. You meet these people, you talk to them, they will give you hope. They are taking the baton. They know they can't just rest on the accomplishments of the past, even the accomplishments of those as momentous as Nelson Mandela's. They stand on the shoulders of those who came before, including that young black boy born 100 years ago. But they know that it is now their turn to do the work. Madiba reminds us that no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin or his background or his religion. People must learn to hate. And if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. For love comes more naturally to the human heart. Love comes more naturally to the human heart. Let's remember that truth. Let's see it as our North Star. Let's be joyful in our struggle to make that truth manifest here on Earth so that 100 years from now, future generations will look back and say they kept the march going. That's why we live under new banners of freedom. Thank you very much, South Africa. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, if we could have our seats.